As climate change continues, coastal regions need to adapt to salinization. Salinization is the accumulation of salt in the soil. But why is there salinization in coastal regions? And how does climate change exacerbate the salinization process? The issue is complex. It depends on geological conditions, hydrological conditions and local water management. But in general, there are four major salinization processes. Four mechanisms that bring salt to the soils in coastal regions. A first process is seepage salinization. In low-lying coastal regions, the phreatic groundwater comprises two uh, groundwater bodies. There is a base of saline groundwater and on top there is a freshwater lens. This freshwater lens currently keeps out the saline groundwater out of the root zone of crops. But today, in many coastal regions, that freshwater lens is under pressure because of overconsumption or because of consecutive droughts, the result of climate change. As this thin water lens becomes thinner and thinner and thinner, the saline groundwater keeps rising to the root zone of the agricultural crops. This process is known as seepage salinization. Another process is flood salinization. Whenever the sea floods land, salt is deposited on the land. It often takes several years for that salt to be drained out of the area. As our sea levels keep on rising, our risk of floods become higher and higher. And inherently, the risk of flood salinization becomes higher and higher. Another process is aerosol salinization. Whenever wind blows over the sea, small droplets of seawater are taken up. And when that wind reaches the land, those droplets of seawater are deposited on the land, especially on the land which is closest to the sea. This process is known as aerosol salinization. A final salinization process is irrigation salinization. Contrary to the other salinization processes, this one is purely man-made and occurs whenever land is irrigated with brackish water or saline water rather than fresh water. Now, why would you irrigate land with brackish water? Simply because sometimes there is no fresh water available. And as climate change progresses, we know that fresh water will be more and more valuable. Our seawater and our coastal undergrounds, they provide unlimited resources of brackish and saline groundwater. So, four salinization processes in the coastal area. But how do you then adapt to salinization and how do you measure salinization? To know more about this, please click on the links below where you will find other videos of the SALFAR project.